Hi there guys, welcome back to the plant. I'm here with my very good friend Bootsy Armstrong and he's going to tell you a story about oscillations. So ladies and gentlemen, as you notice, as slipperings move around, you got the brushes that are moving a little bit. Yeah. Everybody's screaming, oh it's not around, it's not around. It's supposed to be that way. It seems kind of screwy to me that they're os that, that they oscillate. It's not, it's not it's not aligned properly. That 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 seems evident. You're right. It's not aligned properly, but there is a method to the madness. Everything runs perfectly true. The brushes don't move as they wear. The carbon builds up inside the holders, and okay. then they get stuck. And then, as wear happens, the gap between the slip rings and the brush gets bigger and bigger. It eventually creates like a laser beam that scars the slip rings. So my very good friend Kelvin, who's a machinist, he used to work here, he got mad at these one day because they kept getting stuck. So he hit it with a hammer and it started working, but a little out around. What he noticed is the ones that were out around and wiggled a little bit stopped getting stuck. So he went through to all of them and smacked them all, knocked them all out around. <laughs> and now they don't get stuck. They're self-cleaning action. So by having the intentional mismatch, the intentional oscillation, it causes the brushes to oscillate in their holders and they don't get gummed up and stuck in place. So we're just we're exercising this little spring a little bit and they just work. And yeah, keeping the shit out of the holder. Unless cool. They're, unless they're 40 years old and they're burnt out. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. That, that, when it runs out of spring, then there's a bigger problem. <laughs> but we like to, you know, cool. Take care of that ahead of time. And now you know. Thanks for stopping by, guys.